I'm Mel Workby, and I just woke up, and I'm going to be showing off this really cool game that I, I found recently. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, look, we got a perfect field, field for miles. Uh, this is called Colony Survival. It's a new game I got uh, for very cheap. I very much like it. And uh, essentially, what you do is you build a civilization, which is uh, probably one of the the best. This is probably one of the best civilization building games. That, that we probably have at our, our disposal. So if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, I'm setting up a berry farm. And while I do want to... Um, while I do want to teach as much as I can, uh, please note that this is not technically a tutorial uh, series uh, that I'm doing. So, uh, if we go ahead and... Uh, we're going to place our bed right there. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and press 2, right-click, and recruit a colonist. And look, we have a colonist. And what's he gonna do? He's gonna start making our, our berry field, see? And he's gonna he's gonna go through that process. Now, uh, something important to note, uh, let's we go to the command tool, uh, hit I to open up your inventory. I'm gonna spam out these wooden planks. Why? Because one, the lo wooden logs don't really do crap, and uh, we really ought to uh, make our walls and make a really, we have a really sturdy defensive thing that we, we have to make uh, very quickly. Now, we are going to need to make a bow. Actually, let's go ahead and make a bow before it's too late. So I'm going to make a bow for myself. And there's a very good strategy that is absolutely genius, actually. I'm surprised people aren't talking about it more. But you can kind of just... Uh, so there's monsters in this game, right? I'm going to go ahead and uh, collect resources while that guy's making... while he's making food for us. Now, uh, the if, I hope the screen isn't completely cut off, but just know that... Actually, uh, let me see if I can go into settings, video, are we in a window, is that why? Oh, let's do full screen. Okay, we're back. I think it cut the recording a little bit, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so, we're just gonna chop down some trees here. Uh, as you can see, yes, it's very important that I did the full screen. So now you can see, on the right, that there is number of beds, number of colonists, and number of unemployed. Uh, what we want is to have our beds and colonists equal each other, and we want unemployed to be zero at all times, if possible. Because it means that we're being the most efficient we can physically be with what we've built. Now, right now, while on the first day, it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be too difficult or scary or anything like that. So I'm just going around outside of my, you know, you can see my... My civilization over there, he's working hard, he's getting some berries, making some food. And it's very important that we get the production going uh, quite smoothly. Because if you look in our top right, we have uh, 246 food right now. Uh, this is mainly because... <coughs> uh, this is mainly because uh, when you uh, make a, a worker, right, as you probably saw when we started up, uh, that we had uh, more food. We had, uh, what was it? Like probably 300 food, I'm guessing, or something like that. Because it costs 50 food every time you want to make a worker. And uh, once you make a worker, you then um, have to spend 50 food immediately, and then it costs 5 food per turn to, uh, to make. Now, some people recommend going ahead and uh, collecting resources before you even plop down your city. But I want my guys to, you know, there's only so much time, and I want to be able to start making food uh, right away. So I figure, why not just go ahead and do that right now? Now, if you're wondering about the art style, yeah, it's a bit like Minecraft. Minecraft can do that, uh, if you're wondering. So, uh, don't worry about it, though. Uh, it's not a rip-off. There's very different elements. And the fact that I can play Minecraft and not be alone, technically, even though this is definitely not Minecraft, <coughs> and should no way be uh, sued by Minecraft, because it's a completely different game with floating blocks and red grass and crafty. Uh, it's... Completely different game. Completely different. It's not, uh, I would never say that Minecraft is superior to this game, but this game, it does do things better than Minecraft for certain elements. Now, you'll notice that we collected a whole bunch of trees, and it's getting late. There are going to be monsters that are going to come after us, and it's going to be very scary and sad. Now, for the first night, we don't really need to, uh, to panic too much. I'm just going to turn all my items into wood. Or all my all my my logs into the wooden planks, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a uh, base. I like to make wooden bases because you know uh, safe. 
So one thing I like to do is I like to keep everything enclosed safely. Now, if you're wondering, the monsters can, uh, they can get in via, uh, anything. They can climb over one block high things, but not two block high. So it's important to kind of make a base where, uh, you have that, you know, that sort of defense. So I'm just going to start off by making a wall, like a safety wall, all around us. We will probably do some reorganization later. And, uh, as you can see, we're making that, and I alone can defend the base. I do not need any soldiers, and I probably won't have any soldiers for, for most of the game. I might make some to show you, uh, when we get to the point where we can afford to make extra dudes, but, yeah. Okay, so it's getting dark. We're gonna see some monsters coming out here in a second. Once again, uh, the most important thing is building this wall. Uh, and then, obviously, I'll show you the strategy for, you know, expanding further. So, it's nighttime. Uh, the, my villager, or worker, or whatever you want to call him, is going to go to bed, and you see that guy out there? That's a zombie. <coughs> now, if you look around, there's not a lot of zombies. It's uh, pretty safe. It's because the amount of zombies is solely based on uh, how many people you have. So, if you have a low amount of people, uh, then you'll have a low amount of zombies. Now, how do we how do we beat the zombie? Well, I have my bow and arrow. I've got my, my arrows. I'm just going to I'm gonna shoot him. Now, uh, I'm not quite sure if killing him automatically spawns another one to start moving. So I'm just going to wait, and I'm going to give it the most amount of time. Uh, I'm pretty much going to let the zombie walk right up towards us. So that would be the most amount of time to counteract any... Uh, so wait, it, it's less likely that a second zombie will get over here. I don't particularly see any other zombies coming towards us, which is a good sign. Uh, I'm thinking everything will be good. Now, why am I leaving a hole in the wall, you're thinking? Well, what the heck would that be? You know, that'd be stupid. Well, here's the thing. Uh, zombies in this game uh, have this thing called uh, Siege Mode. I just killed him. I shot him with my arrow. They, they have this thing called siege mode, right? And in sea with siege mode, uh, if your area is completely, you know, blocked off, so there's no way, then the enemy, the zombies will start breaking blocks until they find a way inside. And uh, I'm not quite sure if the moment there's a hole, they all, siege mode stops, or if they're allowed to just keep breaking blocks until the next day. Uh, that I'm not sure of, and I don't want to find out. So we're actually going to go ahead and do the, uh, the safe way. And, uh, so as you can see, I'm, like, swiveling. I'm like a turret. Just swiveling around. First night's super easy, as long as you remember to grab that bow and arrow. Uh, if you don't have the bow and arrow for some reason... Ah, see, there's the, the zombie coming out from that way. Again, looking around, making sure there's no other zombies in the area. Yeah, he's just coming from that one direction, even though while I'm moving, he won't. It'll be hard to spot him. Once again, you want to walk over here. I can see the zombie. I hope you can see him. He's, he's right over there. Uh... Don't fall off the wall, though. Uh, that's some. Um, uh, while they they can't reach you, they can't like grab you and like pull you off the wall or anything. But uh, it is still important. You just be a little careful. So I'm gonna dispatch that zombie. We use two arrows out of our supply. Uh, don't worry. Soon we'll get a um, a mine going, and eventually we'll be able to pick as many arrows as we want. And it gets pretty ridiculous uh, if you let if you can survive long enough. And that's what I want to show off here today, and uh, also just kind of playing the game and. Uh, also, a little bit of upkeep, just so you know, uh, each episode uh, I'm going to have be a full day and a full night of, you know, of in-game time, because one, I don't have an actual timer with me, uh, two, because, uh, you know, there's like the day defense and night defense, but, okay, but if you want to, I'm happy to cut out nights until we're doing things at night if you want to. I didn't want to try and, you know, hide or take away, because this is half the game, right? The sitting in the, the waiting for the zombies to come and try and break down your, your fortress. Which is, you know, is fun. I like it. I like this part of the game. I really enjoy playing it, to be honest. Uh, but if you guys find it boring, uh, you know, because I'm, you know, I'm just standing here swiveling. I'm not doing anything. There's not much work to get done on the on the first night. You kind of have to be the, the swivel turret as you, as you swivel around, looking around for, for stuff. Um, but as you can see, daytime is coming up, so uh, that will in fact be the end of the first episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'm very serious about this. If you don't want me to, to show you the night stuff until we can do building at night, let me know, because that, w that means we'll do two day cycles for each episode instead until nighttime becomes a, a factor of building and such. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm El Worfi. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this first episode. Uh, it feels a little short. Maybe I'll even extend them to be longer. Anyway, uh, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.